You shouldn't have to disclose your diagnosis for free candy. I grew up Jehovah's Witness, so these blue pumpkins wouldn't have been a thing for me. We didn't celebrate Halloween, but that's not the story here. First, we have to ask, what is the meaning behind the blue pumpkin? I looked online, Google to be exact. Blue pumpkins on Halloween are used to signal that a child or person may have autism or a sensory processing disorder. They're used to raise awareness, reduce stress, create a sense of community, and educate your neighbors. Let's think about what a blue pumpkin says to others, rather their intentions be good or nefarious. But first, let me ask. Why would you need a signal to be a good person or to be kinder or more patient and understanding to someone autistic? If you'd assume the person at your door was too big to trick or treat without a blue bucket, then why the sympathy for the blue bucket? Because it signals to you that this person thinks different from me and I need to show some grace. That's like people speaking slower when they realize you don't speak their language. Slowing down the words to a tongue I don't understand won't help me understand it. The people who need to know the meaning won't be the ones who know and likely won't care. They'll likely assume your pumpkin is just different because that's the color you like. Kind of like a blue Honda versus a red Toyota. If your child is nonverbal, then this part doesn't apply to you, but hang on, I'll bring it right back. If your autistic child asks for a blue pumpkin, that's one thing, and it would be a great conversation about self-autonomy and self-disclosure. But to get them one because they are autistic opens them up to potential predators who know what these buckets mean. Growing up always hearing that you shouldn't accept candy from strangers, but then this one time a year, there's this flip-flop that happens, and as someone who can be a little bit too literal at times, I could see how that could be confusing. And if the child is nonverbal, then I would hope that someone is accompanying them while they are trick-or-treating. Even if it's not door-to-door -door and, you know, if they're older and you just want to give them a little space, then just as long as you still maintain visibility, you are telling strangers you're autistic just because. And let's put it like this. If you wouldn't wear a shirt or a button that says, I'm autistic, please don't approach me, or I'm autistic so lower your voice, then why should you dress your child up as autistic by the way? Granted, before you start in the comments, be typing your wall of text. I know there are some who would challenge this. I honestly went back and forth with this myself because I have a Macy's gift card I need to use. And for what I'm looking for, I don't want to shop online. But Macy's employees are a nightmare for me. I've made three attempts with headphones and shades, but would be approached by a few people every couple of steps to ask if I need assistance, or would I want to try the new Ralph Lauren or Tom Ford fragrance? I could design it really nice, not all bright, you know, kind of like my logo. But in reality, it'll cause more confusion from the majority who aren't aware that they only have an image that was stereotyped for autism, and it ain't this man. This goes into another video I have coming about when to share your autism diagnosis, so I'll go more in depth then. Sure, those sales associates don't mean me any harm, and at most, maybe one would try to take advantage and upsell me, but think about those who don't have your child's best interests at hand, and those pumpkins make them a target for those people. I also just learned this year that there's a till pumpkin, which is for gluten intolerant trick-or-treaters, but let's be all the way for real. The parents should still be checking because, again, not everyone knows what the colors means. I'm sure at one point, the blue was a big hit for all the Frozen-themed costumes, so the colors lose their meaning when it's just another accessory chosen for its ability to work with said costume. Could you imagine? Hold up. Perfect time to plug this random mini rant. When a person starts something with imagine blah blah blah, it's usually something sarcastic and condescending like imagine telling yourself that everything would be fine if someone else made the coffee and you didn't have to be in control. It's a passive aggressive way to get everyone to point the finger at the ID10T in the room. You thought you were cute and it went undetected, but I saw you. But could you imagine having to keep up with every color pumpkin in the different dollar store and Walmart shade variant? Is this a new thing I need to be aware of this year? Oh, so that's just sun faded orange and not yellow. Okay, cool. We're all different and want different things, but none of us want to be treated differently or tolerated. Trick-or-treating in a community where you know the families is always wiser than, say, driving to where the big houses are in hopes for the king's eye streets. Full bars? Full bars? Full bars! She just gave us full-size chocolate bars! Did she know? Oh my god, was it an accident? What just happened? How does this not topple your economy? For all that, just take your tail to the bodega with $20 and call it a day. Are you Team Blue Pumpkin? Come in and let me know. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. But if you didn't, hit that thumbs down twice just to make sure I see it. Subscribe.